I see it! Whoa! It's well, Ted, looks like we're on the red planet. Why is it red? Did Chuck Norris beat it up? Who's Chuck Norris? Your mom! Anyways, let's talk about Mars. Mars is really boring. The people here are a drag. That's because there are no people. The carbon dioxide atmosphere allows no life. Also, there's no water or ice caps to sustain life. What? Well, I was saying the carbon dioxide atmosphere No, 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 never mind. Mars gets really cold during the day. It even reached 221 degrees Fahrenheit. Man, I thought Boston was cold. How do the people there stand it? Timmy, no Earth equals no people. Repeat it. Not Earth plus no people minus animals equals chocolate chip cookies are good. Why me? Why me? Jimmy, you're complaining about me when the poor people on Mars are living in negative 81 degree weather every day. Every day! That's enough about Mars. Let's jet through the asteroid belt to Jupiter! Asteroid belt? That sounds like it would hurt. Only to a woman. Or your mom. Ah! Hey, Timmy. What's the biggest planet in our solar system? Ha, ha, ha. I got it. Your mom. Ah. <laughs> Guess again. <laughs> your dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Kids. What's the biggest planet in our solar system? Jupiter! Good job! It's also the fifth planet away from the sun. It's so big, its mass is 318 times that of the Earth. Wow, that's almost as big Didn't as Didn't I Earth. tell you to shut up? See, the planet Jupiter is very bright, unlike Timmy. In fact, it's the fourth brightest object in the night sky. It's surrounded by four large... Moms? Yes, it's surrounded by four large mo... What? No, it's surrounded by four large moons. Moo? That's the sound your mom makes. <laughs> <laughs> Timmy, I'm tired of you. I'm leaving. You take over. Wait, Jimmy, Jimmy, stop, Jimmy, come back. No. Oh, 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 oh. Get off me, stop biting me. Oh, 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 stop biting me. You son of a... Well, kids, I guess I'm going to have to teach you things about Jupiter. Luckily, I stole Jimmy's script. First off, Jupiter is the first gas planet in our solar system. Haha, <laughs> gas. Reminds me of Jimmy's mom. I heard that. Shut up. Anyways, Jupiter is made up of 90% hydrogen and 10% helium. Jupiter's core is about 10 to 15 times the mass of Jimmy's mom which is equivalent to the mass of the Earth, which is about 5.96 times 10 to the 24th power kilograms. Darn it, Timmy. Stop talking about my mom. You know I'm still here drinking my beer and berry juice. Just ignore him. Back to Jupiter. Above the core is a liquid metallic hydrogen. Jupiter has a giant red spot that is visible from the Earth. Haha, <laughs> it must be a gas hole. Okay, just kidding. It's a storm. Hey, where's my script? Oh no. We'll be right back after the break. This program is proudly presented to you by Farts, Fantastic Asian Writers Teaching Students, a proud member of Studio AZN since 2005. Now back to your show. Hey Timmy, are you okay? Yeah, how long have I been knocked out asleep? 
Uh, not long. But guess where we're at? Are we in a spaceship I bought off of eBay? Well, yeah, but that's not what I meant. We're at Saturn, Timmy. Saturn! The car? No, Timmy. Saturn is the sixth planet in the solar system. But the planet is very like the car. It's very, very fast. Yeah, Timmy. Broom. Saturn's day is only ten hours long. Can you imagine? Oh, it's so beautiful. What, your sister? No, Saturn. Many people say Saturn's day did do is one of the most beautiful objects in the night sky. More beautiful than the ankle socks on Earth? Did not. Why don't you see for yourself? How does did the planet fit inside those rings? Even your mom couldn't fit inside those rings. Stop talking about my mom. She's your mom, too. I'm your brother. No! Anyways, kids. No one knows for sure what the rings around Saturn are composed of, but there are large amounts of water in the rings. <laughs> Timmy, cheer up and stop crying. We're headed to Uranus. My anus? This is a kid's show, Timmy. You know, Timmy, sometimes you make me want to tear out my eyeball with my own tooth. You don't have teeth. The ladies don't seem to care. Jimmy, don't say that again. You get no ladies. You're white. Oh yeah, I forgot. We hate those white KKK people. They're sheetheads. Kids, don't be racist. It's not the white thing to do. Did not. Did too. Did not. Did too. Did not. Did too. Did not. Did too. Did not. Hey, look, I see Uranus. Jeez, grow up, Jimmy. What's wrong with you? What? We all know that Uranus isn't a body part, but it's actually the seventh planet in our solar system. Did you steal my script? Why, yes. Yes, I did. Man, compared to my script, your script sucks. Your script is all about facts and planets, while mine is all, like, jokes and your mom jokes. I mean, our mom. Yeah, those writers are crazy. You mean farts? Don't blame farts. They're awesome. Well, farts didn't even know that Uranus was 32,190 miles in diameter. Yeah, they did. You just read that on your script. You're just jealous of my brain. You don't have a brain. You're a sock. Well then, how would I know that the atmosphere of Uranus is composed of 83% hydrogen, 15% helium, 2% methane, and small amounts of acetylene and other hydrocarbons? That's nothing. Did you know that Uranus is a unique planet because it is the only one tipped on its sides? Well, did you know that Uranus also has rings? Oh yeah, well, did you know your anus is almost as big as your mom's? Okay, we're moving on. No more moms. On to Neptune. You're just stalling because you can't think of a good comeback. But okay, accept defeat. Anyways, what's Neptune? It's the last of the gas planets. Ha <laughs> ha, gas. Timmy, you're a gas hole. No, Jimmy, you're the gas hole. But I have a question. Is it about my mom, my sister, or my oddly shaped eyes? No, that comes later. Anyways, if Neptune is made of gas, why doesn't it float away like my farts? Well, the planet isn't made up of entirely gas. When they mean gas planet, they mean there is no real surface to the planet. To be more accurate, there are large gas and liquid bodies with thick, deep, hydro hydrogen-rich atmospheres. What? Never mind. Right. Also, two-thirds of the planet Neptune is made of molten rock, water, liquid, ammonia, and methane. The outer third is a mixture of heated gas comprised of hydrogen, helium, water, and methane. Methane gives Neptune its blue cloud color. Uh, this is getting really boring. We're gonna go to Pluto. Wait, I'm not done! Shut up, dork. Uh -huh.